California's homeless population is more creative than most of us knew. Tent cities and shelters were cramping their style, and with no help from Governor Newsom, they decided to get prehistoric. Transitioning from vagrants to actual cavemen, they dug out and furnished a commune of caves hidden 20 feet below street level along a river in Modesto. And while the holes aren't really up to code, they have some homey touches. The cavemen made murals, furniture, floor tiles, and even a makeshift fireplace with a chimney. This is the embankment where those caves have been dug out, and this is one of those caves right here, easily big enough to fit a bed. Police found guns, drugs stashed in the compound, but I mean, that's to be expected. But the city of Modesto caught wind and kicked the caveman out of their cribs in the name of safety because they've held up fine for at least a decade. I've known about those for like the last 10 years. The caves that are here now that they're cleaned out so far this year, there's more caves along the river here. Yeah, there is. And there's other spots where people live too. Shooting up heroin? Fine. Living in caves? Too dangerous. Might collapse. In California, you're supposed to die on the streets outside of a Chipotle. Now the caves are getting gutted and towns cleared out 8,000 pounds of trash last weekend. And it looks like California is on a tear. More caves were found in Riverbank, 10 miles north. Those people are said to have had electricity and water, but they got the boot as well. Now they're all back on the streets where Gavin wants them. Or maybe in a taxpayer-funded shelter run by well-connected cronies. Why are we kicking out the cavemen? Who cares if they're living in caves? Out of sight, out of mind. Let me ask you a question. Would you rather have a homeless guy in a cave or outside your office? My next guest is absolutely going to disagree with everything I just said. Tracy Rojas lives across the street from the caves, and she joins me now. All right, Tracy, tell me where I'm going wrong. Okay, so the, the whole concept of just let them live and, and stay there and they're not bothering anyone, it, it's more than that. It's a, it's a safety structure issue. So at least in my neighborhood, this whole area here, families walk with their dogs, children play, bikes. It's a, it's a family-based community. And to know that these caves are 20 feet below us, it, it's downright scary. Those caves go well into the grounds here. What's to stop them from going under the houses next across Ooh, the street? You're saying under they my could, house, into they my could yard. burrow underneath your house and tunnel up through your den and maybe steal something out of your fridge. Or swim in my pool. Or swim in your pool or raid the fridge. Anything. Uh, have any of the kids ridden their bicycles into the caves? Uh, four kids yesterday just went over the embankment to go look at the caves. Okay. Are there cave women or is it just cave men? I think it's cave families, honestly. Are there cave I, I, throuples? We saw some children's clothing there. There may be couples, but we did see some children's clothing in one of them. So, okay. So there. I want to say families, couples, and po perhaps throuples. There were fires being lit inside of these caves. What other accoutrements did they have? They had electricity. They had lighting. They had wall hooks where you could hang your jackets if you wanted to. Uh, food. Uh, mattress laid out. It, it's quite intricate. I've never honestly seen anything so detailed. It, and it had to have taken many, many months to get to that level. Well, I mean, they're almost civilized. They want you to hang up your jacket so it doesn't get wrinkled. I mean, I mean, at least there's a little bit of progress. Well, listen, I, I really don't want them burrowing into your living room and sharing Thanksgiving dinner with you guys. I, I hope you guys either learn to live with the cavemen or maybe they can build caves somewhere else. But I thought it was a good solution to them all sleeping outside of my office, your office, and everybody's apartment building in the city. But maybe there's just not a place for them. They'd just be nomadic and just wander the earth. Tracy, God bless maybe. you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.